you have a prepaid call from an inmate at State Prison, California. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, say or dial 5 now. Thank you for using. Hey, how you doing, brother? Oh, I'm good. So what do you go by? Okay, my moniker is Beast. I go by Beast. What's your nationality? I'm Native American. Were you ever part of any gangs, groups, organizations? Yeah, I was I was a part of Isa Arriva, Tiny Dupes Click. And I used to run with the Sudanos. Okay, um, I'm familiar with Eastside Reeve and Tiny Dukes because uh, I'm from that area, or I'm from the Eastside IE area. Okay. Um, yeah. Can you uh, uh, explain to the audience exactly where is that located at, Tiny Dukes and Eastside Reeve? Okay, we are located next to the Mission Inn. Um, I would say, like, mine is Longfellow uh, Elementary High School. Elementary school, that's where, like, the East Side of Train Beach Cliff is at. Yeah, that's it. And, um, yeah. And, um, can you briefly elaborate on your upbringing as a child and what eventually led you to join the East Side View Tiny Dukes gang? Okay, okay. Um, basically, I uh, was born and raised right here. Um, Dad and mom in and out of prison, and all of my brothers and sisters. I have a, I have let's see, six brothers. No, five brothers and six sisters. Um, we're all put in place in foster homes, so we all through the systems. Um, I grew up on the streets basically, um, and was raised by like my dad's older homeboys and. I got into it at a young age. Um, I was uh, molested while I was living on the streets. Um, I went to gangbang riots to uh, shoot out for cops, which eventually led, led me here to prison. And now I'm, now I'm serving a time, uh, 18 year sentence for shoot out with cops. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Um, I dropped out of the gang in 2015. And, um, since then, I have had no contact with none of my gang members. Um, I'm still in prison. Um, I walk alone. I, I usually hang around with the Native, the other Native Americans. Um, yeah, that's about it, bro. Can you elaborate on the gangs around um, your area, and also which gangs did you guys, that East Side Reva Tiny Dukes uh, gang, didn't get along with around that area? Okay, uh, usually it was uh, common, uh We would like go against black, um, and then like. Our enemies would be like East Coast Crips. Um, like it would be a black neighborhood. So we, didn't, we really didn't get along with like a, a they're called Batsbaka. We did for to an extent like business wise, but when it was gambling, like we, we put it on them. Okay, I, I know they got uh, West Side River, South Side River, and East Side River, which is where you uh. Yeah, you, know, you grew up at right, or the neighborhood <clears throat> you uh, you grew up at, or associated with, or where you from. Um, what what's did you guys get along with the other Rivas? Oh yeah, yeah, most most of. Yeah, so was like back in the like eighties and nineties that I was wasn't getting along with like the uh, the other Rivas, like South Side Rivas, North Side. But now, like, since, like, the majority of, like, most of all the gang, gang members have already been in prison, so we all, we all clicked up together and ran one car against other racists in the 
here, so we put that mentality out there on the streets. So this is the end of the 2000 era, and we just we, like, unified everything. Instead of getting banged against our own time, we getting banged against different race. Okay, um, how long have you been incarcerated, brother? This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. On um, this sentence, I've been incarcerated about nine years now, going on. Okay, go and okay. All total. Okay, go ahead. And total years I've been sentenced. Okay. I've been Okay, um, you're you're Native American, correct? Yeah. Okay, um, when you went to prison, hit the main line. Um, who did you run with? Because I know since you're Native American, um, and you're Serenio, um, I, I'm I'm guessing you could uh, you could have ran with others, Native Americans, or the Asians or whatnot, or since you're Serenio, um. You could have went that route as well. So what route you went? Okay, well, when I got posted, I was, I was, well, put it this way, growing up, I grew up in a Mexican neighborhood. So I was, I was like ashamed to be Indian. I didn't tell people I was Indian or not, or that. Like, I was kind of Mexican, you know, just to, just to fit along. And the same thing happened when I came to the to, uh, state prison. They told me who can be set up with, like on South Carolina's, and eventually then I became stable and did all my work in there like that. But, yeah, I, I, I set up with Mexicans and Serenos when I came to prison. Okay, okay. Um, you being Native American, I don't know, like, um, about the Asians, because I've I seen the Asian Serenos out here in the streets and in the penitentiary, right? I've been always curious, like, I, I view them like kind of like, man, um, like, dude, like, um, like I was kind of cu curious how they felt about themselves. Were they comfortable, right, like, like going into a gang of a different race rather than being with their own people? So my question to you is, did you feel any uncomfortable about it or you were just like pretty much like um, felt like you were part of them pretty much and it didn't matter what you people think about you being in a Hispanic gang? At first it was, at first I was just like focused like to keep my cover story that I'm, I'm a skin and being that, that, but then I like started growing up in, in here, um, like I kind of started to meet more native brothers in here and that, that ran, uh, so then we we'll and we're still like flying them shit that they're, they're, they're Americans. And that gave me a, a whole different mindset in of what I'm supposed to be. And yeah, uh, for me, like, uh, towards the last of my, my years in China, I ended up being, being in and out that I was Native American and, and a Surrender ever like Okay, um, when you first went to prison and hit the main line, what was your mentality? What was your state of mind? Oh, man, my state of mind was like, well, I just went when I first came to prison, I was on my own, so, so the, like, the Spaniels, they, they, they embraced me and I embraced them. In fact, I felt like a, like, I felt like a home that, that I searching for, you know, and like, they praised me because I've been dead stuff, you know, so. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Yeah. Okay, um, do you hope, did you have to go on any missions, of course, without incriminating yourself, um, um, do you have to go on any missions and they have to, like, do anything for the Serenia car, and did you hold any type of position or ranking? Within that movement? Oh, yeah, yeah, most definitely. Like, uh, my last one, uh, I got hit with the second murder. Uh, that, was, that was like a strong over camel for that for me because um, they made me go out on a mission. Well, they didn't really make me. I, I, I put it up on myself, but to get, to get uh, recognition. 
direction, you know, of what I'm doing. And yeah, I, there's numerous times that I, that I went out on mission to them um, and they let, let me in. Make me cast more time, you know, and that's what I, I said. I'm done with it when I when I was thinking the rest of things. Were Were you involved in any uh, uh, riots with any different uh, other groups? And if you were, um, what was the, what was the oh, cause yeah. of the riots? I've been in riots before. Um, the first one was with uh, the Bulldogs. Up north, um, we got into a riot with them. It was like a eight, eight on four riot, and then uh, a couple of years later, I got in another riot with the Slim Wolves against the Blacks, and then after that, I got into another riot and popped off again with the same same situations. But yeah, it's like. It's a deep cut over here, like when we're on the main line, especially like a level four, like it it'll pop off at any time. Okay, what 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 uh, level four? I'm guessing you were level four one eighty, correct? Yeah. Okay, yeah. what level four one eighty prison or yards were you at? I was in Kern uh, County, that's New Zealand. At the level four one eighty, I was in uh, Shadows. That's me for Valley, level four one eighty. Um, the Hatchby, level four one eighty, and the more the more the persons I've been to. Did you ever do an intermittent shoe? Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, my last intermediate shoe was on was uh, murder, uh, attempted murder, I guess, and it was it was the indeterminate shoe. But after three years of me showing them my good my good uh, conduct, they let me they let me dis discharge the uh, out of the the shoe. Okay, what do you have to say to the, the youth, the youngsters out here that's involved in gang activity or thinking about joining gangs, bro? Um, man, there's so much I can, I can say. The main thing is don't go this route because there's better, way better things to go down and then follow the footsteps of a low life like me, you know? Um, there's so much in the world for for our youth to to do and to, to conquer and see it out there that they crush their dreams if they if they come in a prison is is a good thing because that's how I thought when I was growing up I had I seen my dad and my my uncles and my my dad's friends cousins all going to prison and I I thought it was I thought that was a life I I even dressed up one person. When I was young, but I'm here to tell, tell you, but it's not, it's not what it's all cracked out to be. It, it's stuck in here. You miss out on so much, and your family misses out on you, too. Yeah, there's, there's so much I can keep going on, but, yeah. Okay, I don't have any uh, other questions for you, but do you have anything else to uh, address or add? Remaining. Okay, would you like to give a shout out to any family and friends out here or, or, or the audience or anything of that nature? Yeah, I'd like to give a shout out to my sister, Marissa, and her husband, wife. Congratulations on, um, congratulations, wife, on baptism.